It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time, often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers, and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues, other students, other former students, other alum around the world and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life. I suspect for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognise and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved, and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. On behalf of the Department of Materials, I want to congratulate our graduates on the award of a degree from Imperial College London. While we have had to postpone our in-person ceremony, I'm delighted that this online celebration gives us an opportunity to mark this significant milestone in your lives. Some of you will remember that when new students join the department, I congratulate them on their wise choice of degree programme because material science and engineering brings together the best of all subjects. There are two reasons for this. First, while a discipline in its own right, it draws upon the physical sciences and engineering and is just as intellectually challenging and stimulating as those subjects. Second, all of material science and engineering is motivated by application. Materials underpin all technologies, energy, transportation, security, healthcare, digital, the list goes on. Therefore, materials have a vital role to play in tackling the global challenges we currently face, including the pandemic and the environment. So as materials graduates of Imperial, you have a bright future ahead of you. Whether or not you continue to work in this field, the transferable skills in critical thinking and problem solving that you have developed are highly sought after. You should be proud of the degree you have earned through your talent and hard work. Thank you for helping to make our department a vibrant community. I wish you every success for the future and hope that you enjoy this event. Before we proceed to the reading of names, it is my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Professor Molly Stevens. Molly is Professor of Biomedical Materials and Regenerative Medicine in the department. She is a Fellow of both the Royal Society and the Royal Academy of Engineering, as well as a foreign member of the US National Academy of Engineering. Among her many international accolades, she was awarded the Clemson Award by the Society for Biomaterials in 2016 and the EU40 Prize by the European Materials Research Society in 2012. Thank you, Molly. Hello, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be with you here virtually. If not in person, then definitely in spirit. I'm so happy to be able to celebrate with you today. In a moment, I'd like to share a few personal reflections on the, the really the impact of postgraduate education on my own career. But first of all, I'd like to just start by just giving you an enormously warm uh, congratulations. Receiving a, a degree from a university like Imperial is, is a big achievement. This is a demanding course that you will have been on. It will have uh, involved a real intellectual effort and incredible focus over a number of months and even years. I hope that you're really proud of what you've achieved and excited by the opportunities that lie ahead of you. You will have worked hard throughout your whole degree, I'm sure, but this last year in particular has brought about challenges that none of us could have imagined. And I think the resilience that we've seen and the courage and the compassion and the collaboration that we've seen across our whole community has been extremely inspirational for all of the staff at Imperial College. And I can really speak to that very personally. I'd also like to congratulate your parents and your family and your friends and really your whole entourage that has provided you with the support that you would have needed uh, throughout this period. Um, and I'm sure that they've encouraged you and supported you and are now so proud of what you've achieved. 
I chose to do pharmacy as an undergraduate degree, and I then followed that up by a PhD in single molecule biophysics. And that really set me on this research trajectory um, that I've um, <laughs> now been part of this um, uh, research uh, team, team leading position that I have now at Imperial College uh, nearly 20 years later. Um, and I, I still look back so fondly on all the connections I made during that postgraduate time and all of the skills I learned and all of the experiences I had. And it's, it's been a very important within my own uh, career. I'm now in the privileged position of, of leading a large research group. It's a very international research group. We have people from all around the world, from many different disciplines. We have chemists, cell biologists, uh, surgeons, um, and also embrace diversity in all of its forms. Um, the, the, the wonderful efforts um, that the postgraduate members of my team uh, do really inspire me on a daily um, basis. Um, they're, they're brilliant all of the time, but if I'm to give an example, um, during the COVID pandemic, they really came together uh, and um, straight away um, started realigning some of their research to see how they could contribute to that global challenge that was facing us, uh, both in the area of therapeutics and also in diagnostics. And you'll have seen um, from the news and also from um, other, other things going on at Imperial that really across Imperial, people have been making so many important contributions, whether it's in vaccines or therapeutics, immunology, even artificial ventilators and also diagnostics. I think this is a community we should all be extremely proud um, to be part of. And you should also know that um, when it comes to master's students and postgraduate students, your supervisors will be learning just as much from you as you are from them. And they'll be extremely proud of what you've been achieving and how hard you've been working. If I'm to conclude by offering a few words of personal advice, I would say that in the next step of your journey, uh, choose, choose very carefully what you work on. I think if you can choose to uh, find a job where you can help with addressing some of the global challenges that we're all facing um, across all, all sectors of society, this will be extremely rewarding to you. Also thinking really carefully about the type of team you'd like to join, make sure that they're collegiate and that they can support you and that you can also impart some of your own collegiality and this will serve you extremely well. Finally, being able to learn something all the time and being in an environment that's intellectually enriching uh, will serve you well and make sure that you're never, never, ever bored in the next steps of your career. You will all go off in many different directions, but the thing you will have in common is that experience that you shared at Imperial College. And that will serve you so well um, in terms of the many opportunities that it will offer. And it will also give you the kind of skill sets that can, that can enable you to make a real difference in the world. So once again, I wish you a very warm congratulations. And now the name reading will follow. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of the graduates from the Department of Materials. Faculty of Engineering, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Materials. Max Bowles. Hannah Brass. Yu Cao. Yibo Chao Huian Chen Lisi Chan Sinhao Chen Chen Yu Chen Emma Copeland Sona Dadanya Makaita Garuiza David Garcia Romero Yidong Han Niall Houston 
winner of the William Penny Prize for second best project on the MSc Advanced Material Science and Engineering, Chenlin Xia. Xiaodong Hu. Hua Huang. Zuqing Huang. Jiang Chang Xin. Chen Jiao. Ugne Kudulite. Mong Xuan Li. Si Chi Li. Sheng Chuan Liang. Li Lin. Pung Zhuan Liu. Ling Liu. Yan Hui Liu. Yuesi Liu. Carlos Morales Mungua. Dora Naj. Juan Carlos Palameque. Kiran Patel. Stefano Plantamura. Yi Qin. Zining Qin. Thukshan Samarakun. Sha Yuesin. Huimin Shento. Jejun Song. Shanchi Sun. Ying Sun. Julia Tan. Mao Yuan Tang. Winner of the William Penny Prize for the best project on the MSc Advanced Material Science and Engineering, Tang Tang. Junyi Tian. Min Tong. Emmanuel Uwayezu. Baitong Wang. Beya Wang. Yiki Wong. Zheng Yu Wang. Zilin Wang. Wei Siki. Xinglin Wu. Jin Xuan Xiang. Luo Chen Shu. Shu Yuan Shi. Symbol Yan. Chu Tong Yang. Kamal Yorulmaz. Edward Zhang. Jia Ying Zhang. Chang Yarun. Hao Na Jin. Yu Xiang Zhu. Zhi Yi Zhu. Wen Yu Zhu. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Materials. John Crystal. 
Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Department of Materials. Oystein of Rabo. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Materials. Bernice Akpinar. Noura Hamad Al Katani. Chiao Song Kai. Dean Carroll. Robert Charlton. Winner of the Larry Hench Biomaterials Prize, Joyce Chi. Sheng Yang Chen. Tian Du. Saeed El Chamar. Ahmed Ismail. Qianfang Jiang. Winner of the Tony Evans Memorial Prize, Jindaporn Drithapak de Prasert. Winner of the Mathy Prize, Na Yong Kim. Chie Ting Lin. Lucas Malms. Camille Marijon. Noah Zabinti Mohamed Natseri. Winner of the Prize in Advanced Materials Characterization Techniques, Jonathan Nguyen. Winner of the Constance Flick Tipper Centenary Memorial Prize, Supermass Nitnara. Chaitanya Paramath Muni. Christionas Plausinitas. Benjamin Poole. Winner of the Mathy Prize, David Poussin. Sinclair Ratnasingam. Yan Ren Than. Winner of the John Kilner Prize for Energy Materials, Chen Yu Tsai. Andrew Warwick. Thomas Whiting. Winner of the McLean Medal, Wu Hao. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Materials. I would like to offer my warm congratulations to you, the postgraduate students of the Faculty of Engineering, for the hard work and determination you have shown in reaching this significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months, on top of all your hard work, makes your achievements all the more commendable. I am sure you would join me in acknowledging the support of my colleagues within the faculty, the teachers and supervisors who have worked with you, and the administrative and technical staff who have supported you. This has been a team effort and I am so proud of the way everyone has come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. Engineers work together to solve problems and have a can-do attitude that has helped carry us through the past few months. Something for us all to remember as we move forward. But this is your moment a moment which helps us celebrate you and mark the next steps you will take. You, the engineers of tomorrow. The world needs your skills, drive and enthusiasm. Before you take your first steps on this journey, pause a second to recognise what you have achieved and know that you walk into the world as part of the Faculty of Engineering community.
Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian landowner of Imperial, who has spent a lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. Today's global economic realities, as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic, conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there is no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago, a minor with a narrow technical focus, and gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience, and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So, graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation, and your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up some wonderful opportunities for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal, where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure and just inputs. I wish you well and God bless you. Year of 2020, I salute you and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.